Hey guys, it's Mr. Doctor, and today we'll be creating sunflowers just like the artist Vincent Van Gogh. We'll be creating a table, a flower vase, and of course, flowers. Now, for our drawing, I'm going to be focusing on making sunflowers, but you could certainly make a different type of flower. Uh, we're going to jump in by using a pencil first, and we are going to make the vase near the bottom of our paper. Now your vase shape can be any shape you really want it to be. Here is mine. I'm also going to add, like Vincent Van Gogh did, a line in the middle. And he wrote his name under the line. So I'm going to add my name, just like him. Mr. Doctor. Now, after the vase, I want to go ahead and draw the table. You could draw a straight table or a curved table, or something else. I'm gonna do the curved table, but when I get to the vase, I'm gonna to have to stop and hop over and continue over here. That is because my vase is in the front and my table is in the background. Now, on to our flowers. For our flowers, we're gonna draw five to six flowers, and we're gonna start with circles, the center, and these circles should be the size of our thumb. And we're gonna do five or six of these. I'm gonna do two low, two of them high, and I think in the middle is a great place. I'm gonna add one over here too. This one's gonna be leaning out of that flower vase. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. After you make your five or six circles about the size of your thumb, I want you to draw big petals on each of these circles. Your petals can really be any shape you want. These are some big round ones. You could certainly do different ones. Here's some wavy ones. I kind of like these ones the best because each petal is just going to look a little different. Now, over here, my petals are so big, they're falling off the edge of the paper. That is great. That is what we like to see. This one too, so big, goes right off. Uh, I got three more to make, so I'm gonna work on these. Some oval ones. Now here, we kind of ran into a problem. My flower is overlapping the vase. And so I'm going to go back and erase the vase that is under our flower because I want the flower to be in the front and my vase to be in the back. If you need to, sometimes it's really good to turn our paper when we're making our art. So think about turning that paper while you're making your petals today. This one's not my favorite, so I'm going to go back and clean it up a little bit. All right, it's looking a little bit better now. That's good, that's good. All right, I got three more to make. Let me do this bottom one. I'm going to go back to my big round ones. Right here, this flower is overlapping this one. That's great. I challenge you to try that with yours. Make those bottom two bigger. They seem too small when I first made them. All right, two more to go. All right, again, my favorite. These wavy, curvy ones. Now again, don't be afraid to have your flowers overlapping and touching like this one does. All right, I got one more to go. I'm gonna go back, let's see. I'm gonna do my favorite, these wavy ones. All 
And this one is overlapping the vase big time. Go back and erase the vase, which is under the flowers. Now, before I go on, I just want to review. We made six circles about the size of our thumbs. And we add petals to each of them. And the petals can be all the same. Or you can mix them up and then do different types of petals. And I think each flower is about the size of my fist. That's good. Good. Our last step for our flowers is the stems. Stems are a little tricky because we got things in the way. But we're going to just make them curvy. This one. Sometimes you won't be able to see it go back in. This one, I'm not going to even do a stem. This guy here, he's going to go up and then down. Going down to this one. Same thing with this guy. This guy, he's falling out, so he's, he's going into here. So we did our vase, we did our table. Six circles, petals, stems. After we do that, it is time to trace everything with something black. You can use a Sharpie, you can use a black marker, you can use a black crayon. Uh, since I have a Sharpie, I'm going to use my Sharpie. And I'm not going to trace all this in this video. But I just want to remind you that a good tracer is someone that is going slow. They are in control of their body. They're taking their time. All right. After you trace all of it, and I have one here that I did trace. After you trace all of it, you can go back and see if you have any pencil lines that you missed. Cleaning up your drawing. There we go. So I traced it and I erased. Now I'm going to add some color. When we're adding color, you can use any coloring tool. You can use markers, crayons, oil pastels would be, look beautiful on here. So would paint. Um, I'm going to be sticking with some crayons. And I'm going to pull out colors that I think would look good for my sunflower. These colors are going to be the hot colors. Reds, orange, and yellows. Now, if you want, you can make different flowers. You can make these into roses or tulips or lilies. I'm making sunflowers, so these are the colors I picked. Let me show you some ways you could color your flowers. You could do each petal, just one color. Like here is going to be my yellow flower. And then I'm going to go around and do all of these ones yellow. That might be the easiest one. A harder one would be to use two colors on a flower. So we'll start with like a darker color towards the middle. And then I'm going to switch to a lighter color towards the end of it. And then I'm going to be blending them together where they meet. Just like this. This is a little bit harder, more advanced. So I challenge some of my expert artists to try this. Another one you can do is take a light color. Let me take my yellow again. Go over here. Do one color again. But then you take a dark color and then do a dark, this dark red here. You can draw on top of it some little details that looks great turn out good uh, for my centers i'm going to be sticking with brown there's my brown um to for a challenge though you can do brown plus another warm color like brown and orange would look good brown or red or you could just keep it brown. So we did petals, easiest, a little harder. We then did our brown centers. Now our stems are gonna be green. I challenge you 
to use a couple different greens. It's going to make your artwork more interesting. There's a lighter green. I'm going to switch to a darker green now. And I got one more green. I got super light green. Might even look yellow. Hmm. That looks yellow, so I'm just going to switch it to my light green. And go right over it. All right, when I'm done with my stem, I'm going to move on to my background. Background's going to be tough. I have a lot of space for my background. I'm going to do my table first. And I'm going to do a brown table, a wooden table. And before I do that, though, I'm going to take my Sharpie. I'm going to add some light lines, some texture lines to make it look like wood. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to color it. And with my brown table, I'm going to use brown lightly. And then I'm going to go back with this tan color, this peach skin color. And I'm going to go onto any of my white spots that I missed. If you want to add any sorts of shadows, you can add a gray or a black to make a spot of the table darker. I'm making behind my vase a little darker. And I might need some black there. Gray didn't really show up. There you go. All right. So onto my vase. Our vase. Van Gogh did two colors, so I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to do a gray on top. Now I thought about doing a brown vase or a yellow vase like Vincent Van Gogh did. But I was worried that my brown would blend in with my table and my yellow would blend in with my flowers. So I'm picking different colors. Um, hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do gray on the bottom again, but I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make it darker. There's my gray, but then I'm going to do a blue, a light blue over top of it. And when I'm done, <clears throat> excuse me, when I'm done with my vase, I want to go ahead and color that background. And for the background, it's going to be tough. I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to do a cold color, like a blue. I'm just going to go in between, taking my time, putting this blue down. Now, oil pastels would, look, would work great for this project. I'm using crayons. I encourage you to use whatever art material, material you love the most. Uh, one more thing for my background. I know it's kind of hard to see. I did really light. You can go back and add some purple. To it also. I'll bring it a little closer. And there it is. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and making a sunflower just like our artist Vincent Van Gogh. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.